It was clear from the start of the meeting who was calling the shots. While Lukashenko has proven to be a tough negotiator for Putin in the past, this time he was taking notes of what the Russian leader had to say and making his case for Moscow's support. The main thing, and I say it all the time, is not to cross the line. There's a red line and you are familiar with it. You had to draw these lines in Chechnya when you were a young president. God forbid this happens in Belarus. There are certain red lines nobody has the right to cross. Lukashenko tried hard to convince Putin that everything was under control. But these images of around 100,000 protesters on the streets of Minsk on Sunday tell a different story. Images Putin does not want to see in Russia. No, we... We see what kind of domestic political events are happening in relation to the election in Belarus. You know our position well. We want Belarusians to sort out this situation themselves, without any tips or pressure from outside. Through dialogue, they should come to a common decision. The Kremlin says on Lukashenko's request, it's withdrawing the Russian troops deployed at the Belarusian border. Putin had earlier said that those troops were ready to intervene in Belarus if the situation got out of control. The Russian leader reiterated that agreements between the two nations about military cooperation will remain in place. It's unclear what concessions Lukashenko made to secure Putin's support. The Belarusian opposition says it regrets Putin's decision to hold talks with Lukashenko, who they call an illegitimate leader. They also question the legality of any agreement between the two since the election result is widely disputed. Many here are wondering if the embattled leader is ready to sacrifice the sovereignty of his nation just to remain in power. While Putin supports Lukashenko for now, the question is for how long he can enjoy the Kremlin's backing. If anything, the, the recent peaceful protests across the country, not only in the capital Minsk, have grown in size. They will be hoping that over time they can persuade key uh, individuals and uh, groups within the elite that have so far remained loyal to Lukashenko that their higher loyalty lies uh, with the people. He risks turning a population that is well disposed towards Russia into one that sees uh, Russia as backing a leader and a regime that they no, want, no longer want to live under. Despite declaring his support for Lukashenko, Putin is still keeping his options open. By endorsing constitutional reforms in Belarus, the Russian leader seems to accept that there's an expiry date even for a leader who has been in power for 26 years. Stepfasen, Al Jazeera, Minsk.